fight your faith. If you want to get deeper things on that, we have looked at what faith is not. We have looked at what is faith. We have looked at why the fight of faith. And then we are this segment practicing the fight of faith. You may check on our playlist on either YouTube or Facebook, Pastor Tomawa PST for Pastor for DJs. Because it's the will of God to expose to us how to engage in the faith. It's the language of the kingdom of Christ. Today we are looking at engaging God's word with expectation. I want you to pray with me that God, every opposition to the word of God is broken down today. I am receptive to the word of God. I hear God speak to me. I hear the light of the gospel speak to me. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Jaka to zem baka baku bakali shata tatalu shata italia. Regado senda baku basi papra pakushka. The anointing for faith of the gift of healing and working of miracles is upon me. And as we minister in this place today, there shall be a manifestation. I want you to pray that because I'm connected with Pastor Tomawa today, I will receive a tangible evidence of an encounter with God. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. That because you are connected with this meeting today, you will receive a divine visitation. Because you are connected with us today. Receive your own visitation. Receive your own deliverance. Receive your own breakthrough right now. Somebody just been delivered as we are praying this prayer right now. Be free from that oppression in the name of Yeshua. Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen. Open your mouth and say, I come against opposition to the word of God. I judge every opposition to the word of God. I hear the word of God. I'm receptive to the word of God in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, I turn this meeting again unto you. In this section, oh God, speak through me, Lord. Speak for me and speak through me. Give us a word of peace, oh God. Reach out to my friend today. As we dig into your word, grant us revelation and knowledge of your will. Grant us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you. Cause the eyes of our understanding to be open. We cast the imaginations and every height in that exalt itself against the knowledge of God. We plead the blood of Jesus over the mind and the conscience of everyone connected. We bring every thought into captivity to obey Christ. In the mighty name of Yeshua. Hamashiach. The Bible said, therefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him the name that is above every other name. That at the name of Jesus, Yeshua Hamashiach, every knee should bow of the things in heaven, of the things on earth, and of the things under the earth. And that every soul should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. We therefore declare that Jesus is Lord over this territory. And this is the gate of righteousness. The Bible says in Proverbs 14, 19, that as the evil bow before good and wicked at the gate of righteousness, every evil represented in anybody's life connected to this message today, we say bow in the name of Yeshua. Hamashiach. Every wicked and wickedness crumble right now in the name of Yeshua. Hamashiach. I see deliverance taking place already. Check yourself, my friend. Things are not like before. Before you connected to this meeting, check. Some things has changed. You can start feeling like I just felt a relief. It is not relief. It is deliverance. Oh, somebody, you can just be shaking on your shit wherever you sit in. You can just have an encounter that is all over you. It is not just for fun. There is a deliverance going on right now. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your visitation. In the mighty name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen. Ooh, thank you one more time, everyone, for connecting with us today. We are super dubious excited to be here. It's a new day. It's a day of God, and the Lord is here to meet with you in Jesus' name. Engage in God's word with expectation. Let's dig it. Engaging God's word with expectations. We are going to start with some anchor scriptures. As, as usual, you know that. So let's look at an anchor scripture. The first one is John chapter 6, verse 4, verse 63. John 6, 63. Thank you, Jesus. John chapter 6, verse 63. The Bible says that... Are you there with me? It is the spirit who gives life. The flesh profits nothing. The word that I speak to you are spirit and your life. 
The word of God is not just the Bible. If you have heard me say that before, you can put it on your on your note. The word of God is not just the Bible. The word of God is hidden inside the Bible. You have to dig deep to encounter him. Because you just quote the scripture. Some people can even hold the Bible and tear it. They can just dump the Bible anyhow. Uh -uh -uh. If you encounter the word of God, it's a spirit. It is life. That's what the spirit of God is telling us. Another anchor scripture is Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Holy Ghost, thank you. I'm feeling the presence of God here today. Oh, miracle is happening for somebody right now. Deliverance is happening for somebody. You are being free right now from that oppression. Even before the end of this meeting, you will hear news calling you for good news. That that oppression, that termination, that this, that hindrance have been broken off of your life say amen to that in jesus name thank you jesus romans chapter 10 verse 17 so their faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god so you need to there's a place for digging deep in the word of god you don't just get faith because you quote the bible you must wait you must hear and hear and hear for the word to come alive are you understanding Thank you, Jesus. And the last one here, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12 to 13. It says, for the word of God is living and powerful. Hebrews 4, 12 to 13. And sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit, of the joint and marrow, and is a designer of the thoughts and intent of the earth. And there's no creature that is hidden from his sight. But all things, somebody say all things, including machineries, including the things that are everywhere, including your education, all things are naked and open to the eyes of him to whom we have to give an account. This is the word of God. This is the word of life. First John 1.1, 1, 1, call it the word of life. It is the word of life. So don't just think, oh, by the stripe I've been made, that's what the Bible says. No, there is life inside it, but you need to enter deep for you to encounter him. Do you understand? Engaging God's word with expectation. Why do you need to engage God's word with expectation? Why? Why engaging the word of God with expectation? Like we have just said, that the word of God is not just the Bible. The word of God is hidden inside the Bible. You have to dig deep to encounter him. If you have been in this ministry for a bit, we push you, we encourage you, we charge you to stay put on the word. Don't just quote the Bible for once and just think that's it. No, it is inside. You have to dig deep until you encounter according to the way the Lord described it in Hebrews chapter 4. That's a quick thing. If you have not experienced that power, from the scripture, you have not encountered the word yet. You are just reading logos. I pray for somebody today that the eyes of your understanding begin to be open so that you can spend time enough to encounter the word of life. If you encounter God's word, the word of life, you will never remain the same. Engage the word of God to encounter the word of life. Don't engage the word of God to encounter miracle. I was just looking at this and it blew my mind away as Holy Spirit was showing me. You know, we, the, the thing is that we just quote the Bible. I'm just, okay, Bible says that I'm fruitful, I multiply, I feel the earth, I subdue, and I have dominion. So you are expecting that because I quote that scripture, I should be fruitful, multiply, feel the earth, subdue, and have dominion. No, don't look at miracle first. Engage it to get the life from that scripture. It is the word of life that you will now get that will now make you to be fruitful. Multiply, fill the earth, subdue, and have dominion. Do you understand? There is a life from the scripture you are quoting. That scripture that talk about with long life, the Lord is satisfying me. There is a life inside it that if you encounter it, is that word of life that will cause you to create long longevity and sound health. There's a life in the scripture, John 4, 38. 
that I've sent you to reap where you bestow no labor. There is a life in it, but because you quote it, it won't work for you. But when you wait enough in the word of God, you will encounter the word of life from that scripture. It is that word of life that will cause favor, miracles around your business and your job and your career and your education and your ministry. Is somebody getting me? So don't just engage the word of God to encounter miracle. Engage the word of God with the expectation that I want to get the life from the word of God. Who, who am I talking to today? Are you, is somebody hearing me? What is this word of life? Is that word of knowledge? That's word of wisdom? That miracle passcode? Some people call it Rema. It is that one that has the capacity to create and bat your miracle. So when you look at the scripture, don't just quote it because I quoted the scripture. I'm sure God has answered me. No, quote the scripture with expectation to encounter the word of life. That is why if you have not encountered the word of life, don't stop quoting it yet. Is somebody blessed with that? Therefore, what is this word of life? What is this word of life? Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 said, Now faith is the substance of things so for, the evidence of things not seen. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of the things not yet seen. In other words, faith is the things you have seen, where you are seen, the proof of what you are expecting. That is the word of life. That is the most important essence element of faith i want you to pay attention to this explanation because if this is or if this is clear to you you will begin to prosper in your journey of the work of faith and it's a, it's a must for every believer it is the proof and assurance of your miracle many people pray and they just they just hope one of the things we look at when we're doing what faith is not Faith is not hope. You don't pray and just hope that we have prayed. We just look up to God. If God do it, it will. Then when the person dies, you know, say, okay, maybe that's not the will of God. Wrong. You can know exactly your answer from your prayer. Because the first thing is that when you get the word, you must wait to get the life, the word of life from the Bible. If you can get the word of life, that is the, the what the Bible says in Hebrew 11. 1, that is the substance that you are hoping for that is the evidence of your prayer that is the that is the proof and assurance of your miracle so anytime you are quoting the bible you are praying and you have not gotten to a place where you encounter the word of life you are not yet guarantee of your expectation this is engaging the fight of faith this is practicing the fight of faith and the lord says i should come and tell you that engage the word of god with expectation don't just quote the bible and go to sleep you have not yet gotten there. You must expect to get the word of life from the Bible. And that is the only thing that will cause you to encounter miracle. Now, very importantly, it is not man determined or you cannot just command it so you can access it that, you know, I command, I, by faith, I speak the word of life today. No. I decree in the name of Jesus Christ, the word of life begin to talk to me. That's why many people, they, they decree the thing and you didn't see the answer. And there's so much pressure on ministers. Oh, pastor, just speak the word. If God didn't put the word in my mouth to speak to you, I will just speak the word and uh, you have to work on the word to get word of life. If not, it will not work yet. But when God laid the way you encounter the word of life from the Bible and you speak it forth, he, he, goes, he has his own capacity to create the miracle for you. Is somebody getting me? Am I talking to somebody today? It is God's in why you diligently seek God and wait on the word of God. There is no escape to it. There are different kind of prayer. There are some prayer God says just ask and you will have. But some is say seek for you to get. Then some is say not only seek, knock, insist until you get it. In Luke chapter 18, verse 1, the Lord said, It's share a parable that men ought always to pray and no faith. In verse 7 and 8 of that Luke 18, it said here from verses, hear what the unjust just said. 
And shall God not avenge his own elect who cry to him day and night, though he be along with them? He said, I tell you, we answer them speedily. However, when the Son of Man come, will he find faith on the earth? I'm like, what is faith? Faith is when you pray and pray and you don't give up. What is that situation in your life, my dear friend? You have quoted the scripture. Maybe a pastor have given you a word of knowledge only and you didn't walk. This is where the issue is. Because until you encounter the word of life for you on that matter, it will not create a miracle that you so desire. And it's not something you can just wave up. Oh, we have quoted the scripture. Oh, a, a brother has cancer. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree, we rebuke. That is height of stupidity. We shared that last week. Number one, you must find out what is the what, what is behind the prayer of inquiry. What actually is this situation? What actually are we dealing with? How do we deal? Now, when God gives you insight, then you now stay on the scripture that we say you should identify to start with. We say you have 26 scriptures at least concerning the situation you are going through. You now stay on that scripture. Begin to speak it. What are you doing? You are expecting to encounter the word of life from that scripture. It is when you encounter the word of life that you can be sure that miracle will happen. It is that word of life that you are going to use to create miracle. Not just the Bible. Is somebody getting me? Open your mouth and say, I'm receptive to the word of God. I hear the word. I understand the scripture. Open your mouth and say, I understand the word of God. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Faith is the substance of things we are hoping for. That substance is that word of life. The evidence of the things we have not yet seen. That evidence is that word of life. That is the that is the that is the most important element of faith. It is until you get those things, that word of life, that you are you are just starting prayer. Every other thing is preparations. I don't know how long it can take you, but until you encounter the word of life, you are not going to you have not started praying yet. This is why this message is so important. Engaging God's word with expectation. So wrapping up today, what are some of the characteristics of this word of life? Because you say, okay, Pastor Tomorrow, well, how do I know if I've encountered him? That word of life. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12 to 13, we read it. Number one, the, this word of life, the very first thing is that it's very specific. It's time bound. It's going to be, it's meant to be used for a particular season. It is supernatural. You will know that you 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 encounter something. Some people, your body will just charge as you receive it. And it is very creative. If you speak it, it will create miracle. And it's very powerful. According to Hebrews 4, 12 to 13. Now, all scriptures can be applied for all circumstances. However, the word of life is very specific. From the scripture you are quoting for your customized miracle. I give you a simple example. By the stripe of Jesus have been made healed. Everybody can use it for every sickness and every conditions of health. Now, when you encounter life from that scripture, it will be a scripture specific for that particular condition in your life right now. And it will create that miracle for you right now. And it will create that deliverance for you right now. Do you understand? It's very specific. It has time bound to it. There is time. You, th that is why when you speak it, you speak it, you create the miracle. The next time you have an issue, you don't use that scripture. You, I mean, you don't use that word of life. That's why some people want to try it again and they don't, it doesn't work for them. It was revelation given to them for that specific situation. You must wait on God again to get that specific word of life concerning that specific issue. Do you understand? I pray the eyes of your understanding be open. If you understand these things, things will begin to work for you. And I pray they begin to work for you from today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Why? Because that's what God told us to tell you in this faith issue. That signs, wonders, miracles are forces to attract to the kingdom of Christ. 
Today you see in the church people are running after signs and wonders. Oh, that man of God can pray, can prophesy. Everybody is queuing. Like in the days of the of our Lord just Christ, that the water by the Bethesda need to be steered. So the person that gets in first get their miracle. No. And the Bible says, Lord just Christ saw one man, 38 years, he has been on the queue waiting. How long have you been queen waiting for your case to be prophesied about? Signs and wonders, they are part of the way of God. They are ever to attract to the kingdom of Christ. For you, believer, faith is the expected platform for you. As much as God will work miracles and signs and wonders for you, he expects you to operate in faith. Why? Because when you operate in faith, just the way we are talking now, signs and wonders and miracles become, become a normal way of life for you. However, you need to do some part. There's your, for every miracle, there's a part of God and a part of man. So in faith, there's a part you have to do. And in the second part of this faith kill, we made, this one God made it clear to us that there are two major ways to receive from God. The push approach, where you say, oh, signs and wonder just happened. Oh, I just heard that testimony. If that testimony happened, it can happen for me. It is God determined. It's not man determined. God can decide to do it today. He can decide to do it tomorrow. However, there is another way, which is the pull approach, which is man initiated, which is the faith we are talking about. And very importantly, we must know that a point of faith must precede every miracle. It's making, it's getting clear now, right? Because you must encounter the word of life before you can create a miracle. It is the word of life that you encounter that will create the miracle you are looking for. So if you have not encountered the word of life, you will not encounter a miracle on, on the platform of faith. But it is so easy. When you spend time in the word of God, you will receive that divine word, divine revelation, divine instruction from the scripture. And that is the one that has the capacity to create the miracle you are looking for. And finally, we said that issues, circumstances are weighted differently. So attentions on them differs. Your health may be, you may have sound health. Maybe it's just your marriage that has problem. Yes, you may have good marriage, and what is the problem is identity confusion. Or you may have everything going on, but you have problem with breaking through financially. Look at that area that is not working and spend time. That is your faith platform. Spend time on it. Search the scripture as we have said on it. And now begin to engage the word of God on those scripture on it with expectation. And don't forget to do the prayer of inquiry. You need to understand what you are dealing by the way. Because if it's just to rebuke the devil, you talk, you don't fast on rebuking devil. If it's to change your way of life, rebuking devil will not work. So you must know exactly what you are dealing so that you can effectively deal with it in your area. It's a new day for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. What is faith? Faith is standing on the word of life, hidden inside the Bible. Is it getting very clear to you now? My father and the Lord Bishop David Oedek was saying, seemingly prevailing circumstances notwithstanding, until that word of God prevail. The word will prevail in your life when you wait on him to encounter that word of life from the word. Out of Apostle chapter 19 verse 20. Out of Apostle chapter 19 verse 20. Thank you, Jesus. Out of Apostle chapter 19, verse 20, it says, So mightily grew the word and prevailed. So mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. So mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. The word of God will prevail in your life when you allow Him to grow long enough that you encounter the word of life from it. Thank you for sharing. So mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. May you begin to encounter life in Jesus. Name. This is how you can just create a miracle for your life. Every time you just see this situation, you just say, okay, let's create some miracle. You know the formula. You just spend time. You spend time to quote the, to wait on the word, not just the word, with expectation that what is the word of God saying concerning him, that I want to encounter life from that scripture. And once you encounter life from the scripture, it is that word of life that has the capacity to create your miracle. 
Is somebody blessed with this message today? Is somebody blessed with this scripture today? Are you blessed, somebody? The word of God is hidden inside the Bible. It's your duty to dig deep. It's your duty to dig deep. My question, therefore, will now be, my friend, are you ready? To encounter the answers that God has called is our season of answer. Are you ready to begin to enjoy the answer God has placed in your hand today? In this 2023, are you ready to begin to encounter the answers? Are you ready to do the needful, spend some time to do what is expected so that you can lay hold on the answers? He's saying we give us grain, resources, supply, material, everything you need. You will also supply new, new wine celebration new level new height and supply oil and anointing for exploit for reigning for ruling however there's a part of you to do on the matter how do you do it engage with expectation the word of god engage the word of god with expectation why so that you can encounter the word of life and as you encounter the word of life Begin to walk, engage the word of life because it's that word of life that has the ability to create the miracle. Who is blessed with today's message today? Who is blessed with today's message? Begin to open your mouth and pray right now. I've got blessed you with today's message. Did you get something new today? Did you get something new from this message today? Did it minister life to you today? Open your mouth and begin to pray to God. Because the Lord said, I should tell you that it's your season of answer. It's, it's saying we answer. In this practicing the fight of faith, we are look at number one. We have look at identifying our tools. What are, what are our tools? Number one, you need to, what is the thing you want to deal with? And we say this is practical. So you must do it. Let us do it together. That you are working with. What is that area of concern? That platform of faith you want to deal. Not just oh headache. No, look for that thing, that stubborn thing that you have prayed, you have asked, it didn't change. You have sought the face of God. You have somebody lay hand on you, it didn't change. Stubborn problem. That's the thing you must you want to deal. Because if you can win on those things, you will you will win on many things. Then we say that you should identify the word of God concerning. You must know the general mind of God concerning what you are looking for. For instance, you want to take somebody else's husband. God will not honor that, you know. So what is God saying? We say you should identify at least 20 scriptures on that issue, on the authority of believers, or on blessings of God. Look for scripture that speak to you so that you can be started. The Bible says the workman, the, 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 the you, you, are, you don't need to be ashamed so that you can rightly divide the word of truth. So that you know that, you know, this is the mind of God concerning that area. Oh, I don't know if God will hear me. No, go and check the scripture enough and be convinced that it is the will of God to hear you. I don't know if God will give me this one. Go and search the scripture concerning that situation. Have you gotten your 20 scriptures ready? Because we are going to practice with it. And then number two, we now said before we even start the prayer, Wisdom, spiritual wisdom says, and ask for engage the prayer of inquiry. What actually am I dealing with? What is the thing that I'm praying about? What is the situation? If you don't know what you are dealing with, you will pray amiss. So that particular stubborn problem in your life. Ask God, what am I going through? Last week I said that you should have asked for this whole one way. Have you gotten exactly what God says is the situation? I've gotten mine. You must know for sure what you are dealing. If you ask in the name of Jesus, God will answer you. Because God wants you to break through. Why do I have that stacko? Why do I have that stagnation? Why do I have that limitation? Why do I have that thing that kept coming to me? Why do I have that blockade? Why is things not working this way? Ask God what, and let God tell you exactly. One, what the situation is. Number two, how to deal, about, deal with it. Now, if you have gotten it, then we qualify for this first stage. We are now going to look into those scriptures and begin to engage them with expectation. Even though, yes, we know that it's with the devil. 
The devil will not just rebuke because uh, because you said I rebuke to Satan. It is when you encounter life from the rebuke devil. It is that word of life that devil will bow to. Do you understand? But from from now till next week, by the mercy of God and by the grace of God, I want you to begin to engage the word of God with expectation. Why? Why your expectation? Because you are looking for the word of life that has the capacity to create that miracle. Begin to read that scripture. Just be expecting, expecting that something will come out, that life will come out from that scripture, that the word of life will come out from that scripture you are reading. When you are expecting, it will happen for you. It's a new day for you. If somebody bless you today, you are going to pray someone. Because the Lord says you're season of answer. There's nothing like whether we God want to sort you out. He's, he's, he's your season of answer. He's ready to answer you. He's ready to visit you and brought that here. So are you ready to receive that which God has made available for you? It's your season of answer. So you are going to pray. The Lord says to pray that he has answered the heavens on your behalf. And the heavens has answered the earth on your behalf. And they have asked that the earth is answering you with grace, resources, abundance, provision, machinery, men, everything you need for to take you to the glorious destiny. God earth has made it available. He said the earth is also answering with new wine. There's some good news for you this season. There's some celebration your way. There's some new level, new height. Who is saying amen right there? New, 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 new dawn. Same is found in amen. And what God made available is that also he has made available oil. There's an anointing for experts. You do bigger things. Greater things you didn't know you could you have capacity to do. Mightier things. Now we don't call it glorify God. We will glorify God masterfully. Open your mouth and say, I receive it. I receive it. Declare with me that I receive power today. I receive power to have. I receive power to do. If that is, if you can receive this, it become your reality. Open your mouth and say, I receive power to do. I receive power to have. I receive power to do. In the name of Jesus Christ. Raka baba zuke baka baba bali baba 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 bali baba shota. Maga de zanto. Maga da de sheketa. Open your mouth and receive that. Receive today. It's your visitation. It's your day of encounter. It's your visitation. It's your day of encounter. In the name of Yeshua. Hamashia. Jesus Christ. Amen. Are you blessed, my beloved? May God visit you today. You didn't meet your expectation or beyond. Open your mouth one more time and say thank you for this world. That you are privileged to understand how faith operates. And now begin to go and do the need for and begin to, to make sure that they become reality for you. Like a red Christian, if you are in faith, signs and wonder become a normal way for you. Every day you just get miracles, signs and wonders. That's how God expects your life to be. I quickly say that in this life, many people can survive, so to say, without going to church. You must understand why you are a believer. You are not a Christian just to make money to break through. There are key reasons why you are a believer. Number one is so that you can dominate this stuff. Why you do that business, that career, that education, so that you can stand out and the earth submits to you. Number two, so that you can have dominion over the forces of darkness. Sickness can happen to people. Abnormality can happen to people. Loss can happen to people. Defrauding can happen to people, not you. You judge the devil. And then number three, so that you can manifest Christ on this earth and beyond. You must understand why you are Christian. Not just to make money and marry. Why you are in the business of making money, why you are in the business of marrying, why you are in the business of that your career, you, you exhibit the Christ that you carry. Greater is it that is in you than he that is in the world. You cannot live the way every other person is living. There's insecurity everywhere. Not you, you can you are guaranteed of security. There's there's oppression everywhere. Anybody can force it anytime. Not me. As a whole, I'm Business, you know, is, is both losing and gaining. You win some, it's all about race. You win some, you lose some. Not you. Why? Because you carry the spirit of God in you. You know, you know, marriages, not all of them can work. Not you, because you carry the Christ of God in you. Oh, you know, children of these days, they, you know, 
It's only God that can help them. Not your children, because you carry Christ in you. Do you understand why you are a believer? The earth must submit to you. Devil must submit to you. And you manifest the bigness of you. The Bible says, eyes have not seen or ear hair. Now as they enter into the heart of my one God has in store for those that love him. That is what, why you are a believer. Open your mouth and begin to declare that I'm fruitful. I multiply. I fill the earth. I subdue it and I have dominion. That is how you roll. Get your parity right and begin to wait on the world so that you can begin to learn the language of the kingdom of Christ. Faith is the language of the kingdom of Christ. Are you blessed somebody? Woo! Do you have anyone today that would like to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior? That is the starting point. The Lord, I believe you are the Son of God and I confess you today as my Lord. That is what we qualify you to begin to enjoy this life. You can survive without coming to church, by the way. But devil can deal with you anytime. You can lose anytime. You can be sick and oppressed and crush anytime. The devil can crush you down anytime. Then you labor and toil and toil and toil and toil. The earth is already cursed, so it can work for you sometimes. It can work not for you sometimes. Oppression can come. All this insecurity can happen anytime because devil is in this world it can crush you at any time and then when you leave this world you be separated in, with devil in time in termination in hell but when you receive jesus today as your lord and savior you enter into the kingdom of christ though you may want to operate and walk on this earth you will walk with a different platform things cannot just break with you things cannot just go wrong with you sickness cannot just attack you oppression cannot just come crisis or insecurity cannot just happen to your own location you will live like a goshen everywhere there may be darkness but there's light with you and then you judge the devil that is harassing and tormenting people in the world you judge them and then finally you be manifest christ in this world what is not enough you replenish it and then when you, you die, you reign with Christ. What is the essence of Christianity? Are you ready to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior? It's so simple. Open your mouth and declare with me that Lord Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God that came to this world to die for the sins of all mankind. I call you forth as my Lord and Savior today. I receive you as my Lord and Savior in Jesus' name. If you say that simple prayer, we believe that you have received Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And if you put on the comment section that I received Jesus as my Lord and Savior today, there are links there after the program that you can go to that will link you to our prayer section. Our prayer center where we can do more prayer with you. And if you want to be baptized with the Holy Ghost, you can go to that center, to prayer center on our website. The links are on the screen. I, I believe they share the links on the comment section so we can pray more with you. And then Pastor Tomorrow have a book for you. A gift for you receiving Jesus as your Lord and Savior. If you scan the QR code on the screen today, you can access your gift. Thank you so much. Congratulations. You will never remain the same. We want to know more with you. We want to work with you. We want to build you more in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. That's the best decision you can make. God bless you. And then today we want to give opportunity to anyone that may want to give also giving is worshiping so you are there you want to worship god with your giving slash give online you can click on the qr code on the screen you can give by a way of paper or you still go inside. There are details of how to do you say you want to do cryptocurrency or any means you want to get dot church slash give online. You can see details there. Why do we give? Is that you want to give to worship the king of kings? Or maybe you are there, you are giving as a point of contact to a miracle. 
or you are giving today, you say you like what is going on in the church in the air. You want to promote the kingdom of Christ through the church in the air. If you fall into those three categories, then you are in the, in the right place. Let's pray about our, on our giving. I quickly read the scripture concerning our giving. The Bible says in the book of um, the Bible says in the book of Luke chapter. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says in the book of John, please. In the book of John, chapter 4, verse 38. John chapter 4, verse 38. The Bible says, Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Many clear that I sent you to reap where you bestow no labor. Other men are labor, but I've sent you into their labor. It's a prophetic injunction that you need a revelation to know. You don't need to toy and labor for everything. Not a, not a ticket for laziness. But you walk under the platform of the Spirit of God in the kingdom of Christ and the earth submits to you. Silver bow to you, gold bow to you. You do little work and you get dividend from it. And no defraud, no loss. Things just work well for you. That is what he said. He said, I sent you to reap where you bestow no labor. Some people can labor, not you. I want you to pray on your giving today that God has a gift today. I step into reaping. I step into reaping. I step into the reaping in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you. Thanksgiving, we receive this gift, O God. We proclaim the blessings of God upon them. We proclaim the blessings of God upon the given. And we decree and declare that even as they are stuck, they together, are running over, will you cause men to give into their bolster? You say you send them to reap where they bestow no labor. Let them enter into reaping now. Let them enter into harvest season. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I was praying right now, I saw somebody being delivered. Every financial hand touch broken off of your life today in the name of Jesus Christ. Be free from it. Everyone that used this giving as a point of contact. Whatever it is that issue, receive answers. Right? One more time, we want to say thank you so much for the giving. It takes a lot with the works of the ministry. God bless you. So I quickly share with us. Give us a, a quick summary of what we do. This is the church, the church that works on bossing men up with God for a glorious turnaround. You can see on our website here the church will come up every Thursdays and Saturdays, 12 noon, GMT, London time, 12 noon, Thursdays and Saturdays. On Thursdays, our teaching series where we come up to look at in depth into the scripture as the Lord grants us revelation. And on Saturdays, our first Saturdays is our intercession and praying in the Holy Ghost, where we focus on praying for our nations, our praying for the church and praying for our loved one, believing God for 100 million souls across the globe. Then on the last Saturday is our healing school, where we focus on everything that has to do with healing. You may check our playlist for details if health is an issue with you. Remember, you need to encounter the word of life to, to create your miracle. So check our playlist on either YouTube or Facebook, PST for Pastor Tomorrow, Pastor Tomorrow, PST for Pastor. For details, we have series healing messages. Well, that's what we do every last Saturdays. And the Miss Saturdays is our family forum. We call it Ask Pastor Tomorrow, where we just share together, we interact and pray together. We always have fun on those mid Saturdays. Feel free to join us. You can check on our website, air.church, for details. We run a program called Coach Life Coaching. It's a program, program is an online retreat where we, you say you need somebody to hold your hand. Oh, that is you. I just need to create that miracle. It could be, we, 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 it, it's, it's, a, it's a, a do it yourself online retreat where we back you up, we set you up with God in a flexible, comfortable route. And you create your miracle. You set a goal and miracle for yourself. You click our website coaching.ed.church for details. It is goal specific. 
we, we, we have a seg segment for, okay, you know, I just want to know God more. We have for ministers of the gospel that are going through tough times. We have for persecuted church people that because of your faith, you are being challenged at the moment, either at work or a missionary in one location there. You can get succor there. Or you say you have one financial mar marital breakthrough. Or you just need to create a miracle. Oh, I'm a youth. What is specific about me? You know, we have all of those segments. You can check coaching.air.church for details. And there's some comments, you know, links on the comment section that can link you there. Also, we have a program going right now. We call it Rewards Why Doing Christ. Many people are going into a lot of different loyalty programs. Do this one. This one is engaging the content of content of Christ. And you make some money through that. Please check it out if you feel that is something you don't mind to do. It's not plenty money, but you can make some money while you engage Christ, content of Christ. Check on our website, rewards.air.church for details. I pray that God bless you on it in Jesus' name. And then you may want to send us an email at air.church for details you say you want to talk to us more. Please feel free to reach us more. And then we want to encourage you to check on our, on our we have some published books on Amazon. Check on our page on Amazon Pastor Tomo, what PST for pastor? You could be surprised that the thing that you need to take it to your next lowest level is already printed in one of those books. Check it and be blessed. One more time, we say thank you, y'all, for joining us. And finally, it's first time I to put on comment section that today is my first time. If you say thank you for joining us. By the way, where have you been? We are super excited to have you. Thanks for joining us today. If you stay three months on this platform, you will return with tangible evidence of progress in your life. Thank you for joining us, Pastor. Tomorrow, I have a special gift for you. If you scan the QR code on the screen, you will assess your gift. Thank you one more time. And for everybody that have been here, have we prayed for some sick people here today? We pray and pray, but if you are here, you are just joining and you are sick in your body. And you say, Pastor, can you, you know, can you heal? Can you pray for me? Put your hand where it hurts you. The Bible says where the word of God is being shared. The anointing of God is present to heal. Don't miss your own opportunity. The Lord and not our Lord Jesus Christ with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed. The same anointing is upon us today. Therefore, we say by faith, we lay hand on that in family. Put your hand where it's hurting you. Are you standing in for somebody? Call their name right now. You can share the video with them later. Be made whole. Be made whole. Be made whole. In the name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen. Are you blessed today? Return with your testimony. You have prayed before that God, let me account for God. That's her desire of yours. Return with it to its testimony. It's turning to you for a testimony. In the name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. In the course of this program today, I saw several deliverances happen. If the law, if you encounter God in this meeting today, feel free to come back and share your testimony on the platform, on the message. Because I know God visited you. You will return with your testimony. And this, the Bible says when the sun set you free, if the sun set you free, you are free indeed. The miracle you encounter in this meeting today is permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. All of those deliverance, all of those liberty. They are permanent in Jesus' name. One more time, thank you for doing Christ with us today. Did you enjoy yourself today? Were you blessed today? Open your mouth today and declare that I'm fruitful. I multiply. I fill the earth. I subdue it. And I have dominion. Say with me that I'm fruitful. I multiply. I fill the earth. I subdue it. And I have dominion. That's the least that can happen to you. Declare with me that I'm fruitful. I multiply. I fill the earth. I subdue it. And I have dominion. That's your portion. In the mighty name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen. It's your seasons of answer. I'm expectant of your testimonies. Go and, and, and enjoy answers. It's your celebration season too. Go and enjoy celebrations. In the name of Yeshua, Hamashiach. Jesus Christ. Amen. And Pastor Tomawa, I decree and declare that Jesus Christ, Yeshua, 
Hamashiach is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Thank you and God bless you. Shalom. This is the Church in the Air. A church without wall and border. Setting men up with God for a glorious turnaround.